all right good morning everyone welcome back to my channel today as the title says is my 10 dpo on this cycle and i'm going to just be taking an internet cheapie this one is called clinical guard so they're not super sensitive but that is what i'm going to be dipping today i have my first morning urine here saved and um so we're going to be doing that first so let's dip that and see what happens. As for this cycle, another uneventful cycle. Um, we did baby dance in time this cycle, right before, a couple days before ovulation and right before ovulation. So we did baby dance in time, but I haven't felt many symptoms ever since then. Um, and I've also been trying to lose weight lately, if you didn't see my last video. So that is going through right now. So I've been kind of focusing on my weight loss and eating healthy and um, losing weight. So I haven't really been thinking too much about the symptom spotting and the TTCing, although we are still trying. If you're new to my channel, I'll just do a quick review once again. Um, I have a son and a daughter, an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old. So. After my eight-year-old was born, uh, we decided we were completely done with kids and I got my tubal ligation done. And uh, about five years after I got that tubal ligation done, I actually ended up pregnant again and it was confirmed by my doctor, it was confirmed by the hospital. But unfortunately, really early on, before I even really got a chance to get my first appointment for that pregnancy, I suffered a miscarriage. And it was a super early miscarriage at the hospital where they did the ultrasound. They never really did see anything. They weren't able to see like a sac or anything, either because it was super early on, which is what they said, or because I had already passed it at this point. Because when I did go to the hospital and they did an ultrasound, I had already been bleeding and passing lots of clots um, and lots of, I was bleeding really heavily and passing lots of material so who knows what I had already lost by the time I made it to the hospital that specific day so they weren't able to confirm if this was a pregnancy in the uterus or maybe an ectopic we never got confirmation on that but ever since that happened and that was I think about three years ago it was in 2019 ever since that happened we have been trying to conceive again in hopes that maybe we were meant to have more kids and we did that surgery too early on. Sometimes that surgery does not work out if the doctor doesn't do it right or if they miss, um, any little thing can happen with that type of surgery. It's not 100%. No type of birth control is ever 100%. Um, the type of surgery I got is when they cut the fallopian tubes and then supposedly they burn the ends. So anything could have happened within that time in the healing period. There could have been a little tiny gap that maybe didn't seal all the way. Or I've also heard stories and read about people where somehow the fallopian tubes make like a new growth, a new passageway for the sperm to get through, which I think is super crazy, but it has happened before. People have gotten HSG tests or somehow they got like some type of ultrasound where they're able to see a new passage that has formed other than the original fallopian tubes. So that could have happened or just maybe the doctor didn't do the surgery good enough or maybe they didn't burn one side. We don't really know what the doctor did when they opened me up. So who knows? Uh, I tr strongly believe in God has the final say in anything. If I am meant to have more kids, I feel like it was gonna happen either way, whether I got surgery, whether I was on birth control pills or the shot. Um, so that is what I'm a firm believer in. So that occasion when I did have the miscarriage and I did get pregnant after this surgery five years later, um, it made me feel like I did want more kids. At this point, we've been TTCing for about three years now. Not much has gone on. I think there has been two occasions in the past where I've swore I've had positive or faint positives on my test but it resulted in nothing. I ended up getting my period. Um, one of the times I actually got my period a little bit late, but I never did have another confirmed pregnancy by the doctor. So I've just been off and on again trying for about three years now and nothing has really happened. So at this point I sit at 
do I really want any more kids? Should I just move on with the next chapter of my life? My kids are already pretty, they're not grown, they're eight and 10, but they're very independent. They make their own meals. Um, I'm homeschooling them. So we're having, a, we're at a good stage of our life right now. So I'm kind of stuck in limbo. Do I want any more kids? Do I want to start all the way over? Um, is that really what's meant for our lives right now? Or should we move on? Um, as of now, we're not taking any further steps to try to avoid a pregnancy. We're just going to continue trying. And I feel like if it's not meant to be, it's just not going to happen. And if it is meant to be, it will happen at some point. I'm happy with the two kids that I do have, but it would be a blessing to have more if it's God's will for us. But I'm going to show you guys the results of this test. Like I mentioned before, I have not looked at it. Um, I haven't had any pregnancy symptoms at all. Um, this is, so if I do end up getting pregnant this cycle, it would be a surprise to me because I haven't had any symptoms. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I am going to bring you closer and look at it with you guys through the camera screen. So let me do that. All right, that's a little bit better. So let's see. I cannot see anything from this camera screen. But of course, I'm going to take a closer look on my own to see if I see anything with my bare eyes. I am 10 DPO today, still pretty early. No symptoms, no spotting, no cramping, no nothing. Just I just feel completely normal. All right, so let me try to take a closer look. No, it looks negative to me. I will take a picture as well. Um, just for reference and I'll put that in the thumbnail. But yeah, I don't see anything on this 10 DPO test. And this is a cheapie as well. They don't detect as low levels as something like first response. So we still got time. All right, so yeah, today's test does look negative. I am gonna save it for reference. Um, I have to go out to the store today. Kinda wanna buy a first response for tomorrow's video. Um, just because first response is supposedly more sensitive. So maybe I will do that and come back tomorrow for my 11 DPO pregnancy testing. Um, I'm really excited that you have decided to join our channel and just follow our story. As my understanding, this has happened to a lot of people. I am not the only one. Just from having this channel, I have met quite a few people that this has happened to. And aside from that, I have family um, of my own that this has happened to. They've gotten their tubal ligation and years later they ended up having successful pregnancy and having another child. And um, everybody should be aware that no type of birth control is 100%. I've even heard one crazy story of someone who got their fallopian tubes completely removed. Somehow they still ended up pregnant. So I feel like that is completely insane. And it just shows you that God really does have the final say. You can't control how many kids you're going to have or how many losses you're going to have or... If you're just not going to have any kids at all, um, I've seen YouTube channels where they are trying and trying and trying all kinds of things that the doctor recommends and still they are childless or they suffer a lot of losses. Um, you just have to put all your faith in God. God knows your story. He already wrote it. We can't change the ending of that story. We can't do anything to speed up our story. Um, we're just completely not in control. So I hope that serves as motivation towards you guys. Completely put your faith in God. He knows what he's doing and what is meant to be will happen. No matter what God you believe in or if you don't believe in God at all, um, just whatever is meant to be will happen. We can't do nothing about it. Um, another thing I wanted to say is, um, like I said, I'm going to continue sharing my journey on here. Now, if I ever get pregnant, I don't plan on just completely going ghost and not posting anything else on our channel about it. Um, I have a pet peeve of other channels that do that. I've seen so many people do that or I've seen other channels say that 
Um, other TTC channels say that if they ever got pregnant, they wouldn't share it like with the world, which I think is completely unfair to the viewers and supporters. I plan on sharing my journey from start to finish, whether I end up with another child or not. I did not film my first two pregnancies because I was younger. I didn't really know about YouTube and definitely didn't have a channel. So I kind of wish that I would have started um, YouTube back then because I would have liked to see those memories and look back on those memories and seeing how I felt during the pregnancy and track my whole progress. But I told myself if I do ever get pregnant again, um, I am going to track the progress not only for myself but for my viewers because as viewers and supporters you guys become invested in our lives and I feel like it's only fair to continue sharing everything with you guys. Maybe not everything, but um, some updates here and there would be nice because that's something I appreciate as a viewer and as a supporter of a channel. Um, I just really, it bothers me when a channel just completely abandons their viewers as soon as they got pregnant. After we followed you all this time through all the struggles, through all the negative pregnancy tests, why just abandon your viewers and not give them any more content after that? Or in some cases, some people would delay their videos, which I feel like is okay. Um, that is a way to respect their privacy if they delay their videos to later on and just not show it in real time for their own safety and peace of mind. That is okay, but some people literally just go ghost after they do get pregnant. And I don't think that's unfair and that's not something that I would do to you guys. I would continue sharing my story with you guys. I have nothing to lose, nothing to win. Um, I don't, I'm not doing this channel for money or to become monetized. I am just doing it to share my personal story and so that I have kind of like a video diary of my life and all of the things that we do um, in our life, in our jobs and as being parents already with our family. So just wanted to share that too because that is a huge pet peeve of mine. Like I physically heard a channel the other day say if I do ever get pregnant I'm just going to stop posting. I'm not going to post anything about my pregnancy to each their own but I don't think that's unfair for all of the viewers. I hope you guys enjoy my channel and me being 100% real with you guys. Um, there is nothing for me to hide or lie about. Um, we are just trying to TTC literally by faith in God that he will do what is right for our family. He has written our story and we are just following that path. We're just following along and there's nothing to, that we can do to change our circumstances. But we are still super excited just in case we do end up conceiving again. I swear every single month I have dreams, very vivid dreams of me taking pregnancy tests. The, um, a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, I had a dream for this cycle. I had a dream that I've had a whole bunch of tests. Um, I had like a whole counter full of tests, which I would never do in real life. But I had all kinds, first response, cheapies, um, even ovulation tests. And I lined them all up and I was taking them and each one was completely positive, like bold face positive. I'm not sure what that dream means. Maybe it means that my big fat positive is coming soon, which is super excited. But I do get these dreams every single month and the dreams seem so real and so realistic. And then when I wake up, it's kind of like a bummer that it's not real. But, um, so I don't know what that's about. It could just be me wanting a baby so bad that my brain is just automatically having those dreams or maybe it's God telling me your time is coming soon. So that is what I'm crossing my fingers for. But that is enough for this video. I'm gonna come back tomorrow for 11 DPO and I think I'm gonna buy a first response just because I want something a little more sensitive just in case we catch anything. That is another reason why I like to share my pregnancy test with you guys because I want you guys to find out when I find out. I want to catch that first moment that I see that positive and I want to catch the overwhelming excitement and just the gratefulness to God for blessing us with another child. And I want you guys to be a part of it as well since you've been following along all this time. So I hope that God blesses you guys with what your heart's desire is as well. And I will see you guys tomorrow for 11 DPO. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.